Hey dudes, I'm Hyla. Welcome to Hyla Cooking. So if you've been reading my blog, you know that I've been doing a series on old lady recipes, which is kind of like vegetables made less healthy. So like cream spinach, broccoli cheese casserole, stuff like that. Totally delicious, not healthy by today's standards at all, but it does include vegetables. Uh, but today I'm going to show you kind of a quintessential old lady dish, which is a spinach and broccoli salad with a bacon dressing. And it's really, really amazing. And I will show you how to do it starting now. Okay, so we start out with some bacon that I have diced and then crisped up over probably a medium heat for about 10 minutes. Just kind of stir it frequently to keep the little bacon bits separated. And also we want to cook it over kind of a lower heat to make sure we get all the fat rendered out because that fat is going to be what we make our dressing out of, which is kind of unhealthy, I guess. Because most people use olive oil or something. But you know what? They didn't have olive oil on the prairie. So they use bacon fat. All right, and I'm going to get some diced onion, which throw in there. And I'm just going to saute this in the bacon fat for maybe five minutes or so until it's nice and soft. Okay, so these little puppies are getting a little soft. They're not quite translucent yet, but that's okay because they're gonna keep cooking a little bit more. I'm going to add my broccoli, which I've cut up into just like perfectly adorable little bite-sized florets. And we're just gonna keep cooking that in the residual bacon fat for a couple of minutes until the broccoli is just turns like bright green. We don't want to overcook it. We want it to still be crunchy. All right, broccoli's cooked, nice and crispy. And depending on what kind of bacon you use, I apparently used a very lean bacon because look, there's no bacon fat in there. I mean, it's all kind of absorbed by the onions and stuff, but I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil and mix that around. And then comes the rest of our dressing stuff. So I'm gonna turn this down to low heat while I add a little bit of maple syrup and a little bit of vinegar. I'm using a sherry wine vinegar, but a red wine vinegar would be great too. And just kind of mix that around to get the maple syrup to dissolve and scrape up all the little toasty bacon bits on top. And now we are ready to dress our salad. Time to get dressed, dudes. All right, I've got my bowl of lettuce, or spinach, rather. And just going to pour all of this into it as quickly as possible so we don't lose the heat. And then toss it around. And it's going to make the lettuce wilt a little bit and soften it. Or the spinach is going to make the spinach wilt a little bit, kind of soften it. Oh my gosh, smells real, real good. So once you get it all kind of mixed up, we're also gonna season it with a little pepper. Probably don't need to add any salt because the salt in the bacon is probably enough and my pepper gardener's empty, but we'll just pretend like there was pepper coming out of there. Once you've got it all tossed around, see that spinach is like glossy and just barely soft. Oh my God, this is so good. Gorgeous. All right, then we just sprinkle our little bacon bits over the top. If you wanted to add some cherry tomatoes or some red bell pepper, that would also be a delightful combination. Mmm. Dude. Spinach, broccoli, bacon, maple syrup. All the things your grandma would be proud of. So there is an old lady recipe from me to you from my grandmother's heart to your grandmother's heart, ever the twain shall meet, etc. Poetry, I don't know. Check out my website if you want more old lady recipes. And uh, if you have any questions or anything, leave them in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you try this.